Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go ahead and solve this problem. We weren't able to do it in class, so that's why I'm doing it kind of separately. So uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. If it does, hit that like button. And as usual, subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out, but whatever the heck you want to do. In any case, I'm going to continue on with this problem. Solving it, since it is not a quadratic, we can make it a quadratic by using substitution. <clears throat> so first off, I want to start with this x squared. I'm going to, that's just my preference. I'm going to say that x squared is going to be u, which means that if I squared u, I would have to square x squared, which would make that x to the fourth. So now what I've got is u squared plus 4u plus 3 equals 0. And now I have a quadratic. Really, I'm looking at this as a polynomial or a trinomial that I can factor because I can see that 3 has two factors that add up to 4, specifically 3 and 1. So what I end up with is I still have the u's for both of these, and they're equal to 0. And I have the two factors of 3 being 3 and 1. <coughs> So I can set both of these equal to zero, meaning u plus three should equal zero, but also u plus one should equal zero. And I can go in and I can replace my u values with what they actually were. Looking up here, each u is an x squared. <clears throat> and from here, all I need to do is solve for x. So I'm gonna subtract three from both sides on this one. And I get x squared equals a negative 3. To solve, I would square root this stuff. And since I have the square root of an x squared, I have the absolute value of x equals i times the square root of 3, the i coming from this negative inside the radical. Now, since it's a square root, I can split that up. And that would give me x equals the positive i times the square root of 3, but also... Uh, on the other end would have x equals the negative i times the square root of 3. And that right there would give me two of the answers so far. Because what I need to do on the other side is subtract 1 from both sides. So now I've got x squared equals negative 1. Same idea on this one. I'm going to square root both of these. And that gives me, I have the square root of a uh, square. So that's the absolute value of x equals, the square root of negative 1 is just an i. So I can split this up, and I see that x equals a positive i. And then on the other hand, based on my absolute values, x just equals a negative i as well. And that right there would be two more answers. And right here we can see that we have four answers, which is what we would expect because the degree of this polynomial is four. Now all of these are imaginary, which means that on the graph, if we were to graph this, uh, it would never actually cross the x-axis. So maybe if we looked at a graph, uh, x to the fourth maybe looked something like this. And all those values, not, it never crosses the x-axis, and that's what that's telling us.